Cherie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how I achieved these short bohemian locks on my medium length hair. I didn't use a lighter to burn the ends of the lock because I wasn't going for that look. So I have these little sh short curl ball things going on for the ends. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, just stay tuned and keep watching. The hair that I'm using today is the Lulu Tress Wardaway in the, what is it? 12 inches and I have the color two and I got one pack of 27 just so I can do some a few blonde braids I'm mean not braids a few blonde locks in there too so I already sectioned off my next piece and I am doing just freestyle finger parting just because for my locks I prefer that freestyle parting look opposed to the uniform box parts so I'm going to start by just taking some moisturizer and moisturizing my hair Now I'm going to take my braiding gel and I'm using this JAMA braiding gel. I found this at the Beauty Supply Store and it is really, really good so far. I, I'm liking this way better than using the regular jam. So anywho, I'm just going to start putting it all at the root so I can grip the hair. Alright, now I'm just going to start braiding the hair. Okay, once I braided it just a little bit, I just start to twist instead. And this is only to save time because it's no point to braid all the way. And of course, twisting is faster. Now once I've twisted all the way down, I'm going to take my crochet needle and because I'm doing these locks pretty much the same length of my real hair twisted, I am crocheting my hair up because when I take these locks out, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to snip the ends of them and then start to unravel. And of course, I don't want to cut my real hair. So to make sure I don't, I'm just crocheting my hair up to make it shorter so once you crochet it up it's gonna look like this and now i'm going to take my one strand of the hair fluff it out When you fluff it out, it looks, you know, like that. And I'm going to do this for one and a half more strands of hair because for each lock I'm doing, I am using one and a half of these pieces to get the um, thickness that I want for the lock. So all of the pieces combined looks like this. It's about this much hair. So now what I'm going to do is take my crochet needle again, push it through the braid, make sure the latch is open. Now I'm going to take the hair and I twist it since I plucked it out, out. It's kind of hard to put it on the latch like that. So I just twist it where I can place it on the latch. And I close the latch and pull it through. So now I'm going to take one section and pull it all the way through so that the hair can slide easily through like so now what i'm going to do is 
pull it just so that one side is going to be the length that I'm going for. So like here, as you can see, I'm doing it pretty short. So I'm gonna just, that should be good there. So I'm gonna hold my hair with this hair and then just start to wrap around with the other side. So I'm gonna wrap around the base about two or three times. And then I just start to wrap down. And I push up a little bit as I go along and just continue to hold still and wrap the other piece around. So once I get kind of towards the end and I have all of this excess hair, I kind of just take some of it and add it to the side that I am wrapping with just to give me more hair to continue to wrap down. And once I get the length that I want, I just start wrapping back up. I'm going to take some more hair just because I don't need that much down there. And I'm just going to start wrapping back up the lock. Now once I get to a very, very small piece on the end where I am start running out of hair to wrap, I take some nail glue, dab it on the lock. and then wrap the hair around that part where the glue is to secure the lock. Like so. So this is what the lock looks like. So now for the ends, I am just going to snip this end And do a good job snipping that one because it's not a bouncy curl like the others but for this one this end looks like this i'm probably gonna just snip this all off but all my other ends have like a little curl on the end just the hair is curly that's what i've been going for but i messed up on that one so <laughs> it's all good so yeah that's just the technique that I am using to do these so I'm going to just continue on and I'll be back Alright, so now I'm done, but I'm not done all the way because I noticed that as I continue to wrap, some of the locks 
are looking like too curly like here is a prime example where it's the same length as this other side but because it has this extra huge curl going on it's looking shorter and I have some in the back like that too so I'm just going to take another piece that I fluffed out and try to wrap it on top of it to get it to kind of straighten out some Now, it's straightened out way more than it was before. I'm gonna palm roll it. And now that I did that, I do have some stragglings on the end, so I'm going to snip this off. And yeah. So I'm going to just go out throughout my whole head and fix any locks that are not so great and then I will finally be done. So I think I actually decided against going over some of the curling ones in the back just because it gives it the whole bohemian vibe which I am going for. So I think I actually like it after all. The one in the front does look funny to me because maybe because it was in the front and that super dip of a wave just look crazy so i do like the fact that i straightened that one out but the ones in the back i'm gonna leave as is so here's what it looks like up close and then in the back i'm thinking about switching out that blonde one i did um that one blonde one as you can see i went over it with one of those dark pieces to kind because of, that one was kind of the um wrapping i did a bad job on that one so that's why i went over it with the dark one but i'm thinking i might just switch it out to completely dark all together but then again it's in the back so i don't know if i care enough to change it so who knows y'all but let me just start on rambling on and um yeah this is what it looks like i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope you like the hairstyle and i will see y'all next time